Hello guys and welcome back to our very last duck hatching video. Grab that hatching journal and we are going to work on the very last two pages of that book today. But first, let's do a little recap of everything we've seen over the past, I guess it's been about 30 days at this point. So let's start back at the very beginning. Do you remember how we started our journey with these duckies? Let me show you. We took a drive to the farm and we grabbed those eggs. Do you remember that? I've got our eggs. They come in an egg cart. Then we brought our eggs home and we very carefully got them prepped and ready and put them in the incubator. All six eggs. We wished them luck, we put that lid on, and then we watched them grow over the next month. And boy, did they grow. From that little tiny red dot to the blood vessels and we saw them start to kind of get that little ducky shape after they were in there for one week we candled them for the first time so there's little pom-pom we saw the red dot growing you see the little blink you see its big air pocket it's so tiny pinky egg number two We saw Ducker, egg number three. Look at that nice red spot. Wow. Can you believe they started that small? There's Flappy, egg number four. Pikachu, egg number five. And last, we have Flipper, egg number six. And we can see that they're still very tiny, um, maybe like the size of my thumb. That tiny little piece right there is about how big our ducks are right now. And when they hatch, they're gonna be so big, they don't even fit in the eggs anymore. So oh, true, eh? And then we kept watching them grow. They got their heartbeat. They started to look a lot more like a duck. And then two weeks after they started growing, we candled them again. And we saw them looking a lot different. So there's Pom Pom filling in that egg a lot more. We can still see those blood vessels. Here's Pinky. Pinky was also growing. You see those blood vessels. Egg number three, this was Ducker. Look at him wiggling around in there. Egg number four was Flappy. Flappy's got some good veins going on in there too. Let's see if we can see any little movements. This was the cool one. Egg number five, Pikachu, was the wiggling one in the week number two that we candled. Look at Pikachu moving. Pikachu was also our first duck to hatch. So we know now that Pikachu was growing really fast. Pikachu was doing so good in that egg. Look at him moving around in there. My goodness, he's having fun. Look at that. That was so cool to see him wiggling so much. My goodness. And this was only halfway through their development. This was only two weeks in. Still has a lot of work to do before he's ready to hatch, but man, was he doing great. Ugh, I could watch this all day, but we've got so much more to share, so let's move along to egg number six. Do you remember which the last duck is? What name, I mean? Flipper! Here's our little Flipper. Flipper was tiny compared to Pikachu, wasn't he? And then we kept growing. We got feathers and limbs, a bill. 
and after three weeks of growth, we candled our duckies again. So there was egg number one, pom pom. And remember, they were so much darker at this point, right? It was really hard to see. There's Pinky, egg number two. We still see some movement in our little Pinky. Egg number three was Ducker. And that was the super cool one where we saw his bill trying to poke into the air pocket. It's still so surprising that Ducker was not the first egg to hatch. Ducker was the second egg that hatched. That just shows you how much work it must be because he had such a head start. Egg number four was Flappy. We can see Flappy wiggling around in that egg as well. Egg number five was Pikachu. Pikachu was our very first egg to hatch. And looking at this now, we can't really even see any movement in there because Pikachu was so stuffed in that egg. It's just like a big black mass of duck. Crazy. And then our last one, egg number six, was Flipper. week we got bigger and bigger and bigger. Our duckies just continued to grow until they were so smushed inside that shell that we noticed a pip and we got to start watching our duckies hatch. So our first one to hatch was Pikachu. We noticed them pipping on a Sunday and then by I think it was Tuesday Pikachu started hatching. I've sped this up a ton for you guys to watch. But there is the hatch. You can see how they hatch by unzipping that shell. They start in one spot and then unzip around the shell until they get it unzipped enough that they can just start stretching and trying to push it open. So exhausting. They do a lot of resting in between too. Oh, there's the stretching. There we go. Starting to push it off. And they stretch and they sleep. And they stretch and they sleep. And we got to watch this with all of our duckies, except for Pinky, but we got to watch them all hatch. Some of them were in the nighttime and some of them were in the really early morning. But they all went through this exact same thing where they pip they unzip and they push out. And then they come out so exhausted. Look at little Pikachu there, my goodness. Can you believe that whole duck fit inside that tiny little egg? Wild. <laughs> there we go. And I think I got little Pikachu resting at the end. There we are. All right, so we can do one of the pages at the back of our hatching journal. So find the page at the very back that says hatching the eggs and it looks like this. And we're going to start with the first question that says when the eggs hatched it looked like this. So we just saw Pikachu hatch there. We've seen some of the other eggs hatch. What could you do in that box? Could you draw a picture of one egg hatching? Could you draw a picture of a duck coming out of an egg? Could you draw a picture of a little pip? of the unzip? Could you draw one of the ducks and then have the egg beside it? There's so many possibilities there, so draw something in that box to show the eggs hatching. Next question asks, blank eggs hatched. How many of the eggs hatched? Can you remember what the answer is? We started with six eggs, but how many of them actually hatched? See if you can figure that out. And then the next question after that, says how many eggs did not hatch? We had six eggs total. How many of those eggs did not hatch? Write the number on the line there. And then the last question says they hatched and you can circle either early, on time, or late. Take a look at your hatching calendar and see what you think. Did they hatch early, on time, or late? 
Let me show you my paper and we'll see if we got the same answers. So there's the egg hatching. Do you know how many eggs hatched? Five eggs hatched. We had one egg that did not hatch and our eggs hatched early. There we go. So that's what that paper looks like. And now, let me introduce you to our little duckies. We'll show you the differences in them, and then we can do the very last page in our book. Here they are. So here they all are in their new home, all five ducks that hatched. And here they are playing outside in the grass a little bit. It's just a beautiful day to be a duck. So let me show you them each individually. This is Pikachu. He was the first one that hatched. He is from egg number five. Pikachu is the biggest duck and watched all of his brothers and sisters hatched from the outside. He's got the orangey yellow feet. He's got kind of brown, black stripes on his head. He's a very big duck. The next duck that hatched was Ducker. Ducker is our only duck that has black feet. Ducker is kind of like a grayish brown color. Ducker is a bit of a meanie. He likes to pick on his brothers and sisters. The next duck that hatched came from egg number six and it was Flipper. Flipper's pretty cool because Flipper's got a little yellow like ring around his neck. And he is probably the smallest duck we have. He's very tiny and he had the hardest hatch. It took him forever, poor little flipper. Our fourth duck that hatched was Flappy. And Flappy is a yellow duck, but kind of like a dirty yellow, like a brownish yellow. And Flappy is one of the youngest. He's our second youngest duck. And so Flappy and our last duck that hatched, Pom Pom, are just the sleepiest, tiniest baby ducks. So here's Pom Pom. And Pom Pom is all yellow, head to toe, and Pom Pom is just such a little baby. Pom Pom and Flappy hatched about 20 minutes apart, and they just sleep all the time. They're just such little babies. So here's a picture of Flappy and Pom Pom doing what they do best, sleeping. Aren't they just the cutest? It's adorable. And there's Pom Pom, just likes to be held because she likes the warmth and just always sleeping. Oh, so cute. So let's find that very last page that we need to do in our book called Here Come the Ducklings. So the first question says the ducklings are what color? Some are yellow, some are black, some are brown, you could write all those colors or just one color, whatever you'd like. They eat, well, let me show you what they eat. That's their food. Um, it's kind of like, I guess, little, maybe we'd call it grains. So I'm gonna write that. They eat grains. And the next question is they like, and what is it that ducks like to do? There's a few things they like to eat. They do that a lot. They like to sleep, as we saw Flappy and Pom Pom. They like to poop. Ducks that eat a lot poop a lot. Or they like to swim. We haven't really got to see that yet, but that's an idea too. And then you can draw a picture of the ducks. You could draw just one duck. You could draw all five ducks. Um, Pick the one that you really like the most or show us how they're all very different and unique. But put that in the very last box and there's all of our ducks. Well guys, thank you so much for watching all of our duck videos, for following along with us this entire time. It has been such an adventure and it has been so much fun. Enjoy the rest of your time, my friends, and we will see you again in the future. Bye!